Is that better? Uh, I'm are just... you just right on my, my jetties? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Back up, my eyes are up here. <laughs> Welcome back to Project Wrong Way, episode two. Got the frame back from the sandblaster. It looks good, but it exposed a couple more of the Helen Keller welds. Uh, so we're gonna fix those. I'm gonna show a brief example of my skill set when it comes to welding and how even you, what am I looking for here? What a, a novice can do it. I was taught how to weld in high school. You had some tutors last year. Who came I did. I actually got to add some tutors. Shit. Yeah, you had a lot of people come try to help you do it. Okay, well. I've received quite a bit of instruction, but I, not a lot have, have I retained. He's not a very good learner. Let, let me show you what I'm, what I'm talking this about. This is smooth. Boy, this is, yes. You're gonna wanna divot the weld a little bit. This is not how to do it. It's how I'm doing it. I'm sure I'll get some feedback of how to do it correctly. I'm fine with that. Focus up on this right here. Oh, good job, Helen. Nice work. Oh, wow. Did you do that on Friday, the day you got fired? Okay. No, it looks attached. It's just not I'm just great. gonna show you real quick what, I'm, what I do with these welds. Oh, you didn't give me eye pro. You're fine. Just hide behind the camera. Okay. You're gonna have to redo that now? So what we've created, it's a little gash or a hatchet wound yes. in the... Honey, I'm not referring to any part of the physical yeah, right. dimensions of a female body. So the crevice that I've created, I'm now gonna fill with my hot magma. <laughs> Always turn on the gas. Bronco frames. I looked it up on the internet. It's one eighth of an inch thick. Turn on your fancy box here. Please turn on. Okay, I got this one on uh, eBay. So I'm gonna go to auto set. Oh shh. It's already set up. One eighth of an inch. That's my wire thickness. Bolts stuff. I'm not really to the point where I make my own settings and stuff. I have received some feedback like, hey, it seems like the metal's too or it's too hot, cold or something. My eyes are already like blurry. Oh, Mine boy. too. All right, let's do a quick weld here. Should oh, I close my eyes? A little coiled? Yeah, you're gonna wanna close your eyes for this one. Is that any better though than yeah, the first uh, one? Yeah, hold on, let me get another one here. That's way better. Okay. okay, um, maybe the shock mounts too. This crevice has already been grooved out by another man. Another man? Or Helen, whoever did the welding. So I'm just gonna do what I saw somebody do on the internet, and that's weld this little, this little gap up a little bit. Just I'm not gonna do the grinding, I'm just gonna fill in. Right. See what happens. I'm not sure that was pointed correctly that whole time because my eyes were close. Oh. That really cut into the metal though, huh? I'm going to do a little line right here. Another line? Yes. Are you sure you're not going to punch a hole in it? In the words of every coke addict, I'm going to do another line. Clearly it's welding really hot or something, so I'm just going to do a seam fix. That's a made up term. Oh, that looks really shitty. You make it worse? I may have made it worse. I'm Wait, gonna grind is, that down. Is that gonna be visible though? So like, who cares? Is it gonna show? When you're looking at the Bronco, is it gonna, you're gonna make them all look bad? I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's not too bad. I'm gonna leave that one with all the holes and shit. Damn it. I was gonna do those. What anyway. else are you gonna do? I thought you were grinding now. I'm gonna grind it down, but that we don't need to watch. I'm just gonna grind down this little extra bit right here that I did. Put too much magma in the in the gash. Now that I've shown how to do the I gotta stop. I gotta stop breathing so hard. Now that I've shown how to do the You're gonna work out more, I guess. Or how not. Uh, you can do those welds or you can leave it alone, it'll probably be just fine. <laughs> Doing things you don't have to do. Yeah, I may have I may have made it worse. 
We're going to talk a little bit about frame cleaning, and then I'm going to I'm going to approach some ideas about how to paint the inside of the frame. So Is that's that going to really get pretty necessary. Exciting. We're going to we're Let's going to talk it. about that too. How much of your body do you want on? Just the whole thing. Probably here up. I don't remember what YouTube video I watched. I'm going to try to find it because I, I need to give the guy credit. But I made this whip device with some little chains and I put some spiky bits on the end. Angry war and I got a device. washer. Then we got a cable. I run it through this PVC here to this bit right here. We'll call that the, the nubbin. Or the, the little man in the canoe. Don't you have a video of you using it? When no. we got all the nuts out of it? I put a washer on this side too. That's loosening. Jeez. So you tighten up on the cable. So what I would do is I would jam this into the, into the hole, spin this little guy, and it cleaned up the inside of the frame. I've also done a visual inspection of the frame with my eyes. It's actually pretty clean in there, but I have some leftover POR 15. No, you don't. You yeah, ordered a ton more. No, that's for the outside of the frame. <laughs> for like, the inside. <laughs> it's not left over. It just keeps showing it up at the house. It is left over. No, no, don't lie. When you want to paint the inside of your classic 4x4 frame, Bronco, Land Cruiser, you have two options. Oh, gosh. One option. Actually, you got a lot of options. One option is this. Stop rust from the inside yeah. out. So this is the Eastwood. You put the spray nozzle on and you spray it inside the frame. These are about $40 a can. I know, my wife's face right now is. If you were to buy enough to paint the inside of a frame, I've been told it's about five to seven cans. Mm. So I'll let you do the math because I literally can't. I have dyslexia. You could do that or you could use my invention. Oh no. First off, you're welcome. Are you sure that it's not gonna end up being we do your thing and then have to spend $200 anyway? I went on Amazon. I bought this thing. It's the Fry Oil Saver. No, it's a goblet washing brush. <laughs> For all you guys married to women who drink lots of wine, get one of these goblet brushes on Amazon. Stupid. Under the guise of helping your wife. Helping your wife. But deep down, you're building this contraption. So, based on the design that I saw on the internet of how to clean the inside of the frame, I thought, let's paint the inside of the frame. I doubt you're gonna get the corners. Shh, so. it's not, there's no corners in there. It's all rounded edges. Is it? Okay, there's corners because yeah. it's a boxed in frame. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> but it's gonna flick it into the corners, I think. I wire wheeled the rubber off the end. I welded it to this little cap right here. And then I welded multiple steel rods together. And you put a little nubbin on the yeah. end. A nubbin. You gotta put your hand behind it like the makeup girls so that it focuses. There you go. So what we're gonna do today is test this bad boy out. Oh, no. Rachel is gonna have to help guide me in because typically I can't do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the true test here. If you guys wanna try this out afterwards, if it works, you can do the Eastwood route at 200 bucks, which is fine and probably does a very thorough job. Or you can try the Project Wrongway method. So we're gonna tape up the holes. Let's get started. Get a good look at what I'm doing there, honey. Oh yeah. Oh. Doing some yeah. technical stuff. Rachel and I had a bit of an exciting uh, intercourse this morning. Miscalculated. We attempted the side to do a what's it called again? Position a, change. A position change, and Rachel ended up falling off the bed <laughs> like a squiggly jello fish. <laughs> jello fish. That's not even a real thing. I have two cans. The POR15 I used on the FJ40 build. I've got some gray, a little bit of black, because we're all about inclusion. Who's gray? Dead people? Aliens. We're gonna use gravity. For those of you who think there's no science involved, gravity. By the way. Why did you screw it close? Well, uh, Rob Tiger actually taught me this trick. You can reuse the can without having to take the lid off all the time. It actually doesn't dry out. But this idea, if it, if it does work, it's free to everyone. If it doesn't work, it's on you. 
I'm, this is trial and error. This is what I've been telling you guys about. How do they do it in factories? I don't know. Or I don't do think they, they paint bother? the inside. Okay, so then why are you painting the inside? I want to. Why? I got some extra stuff, so I want to try it. So this entire endeavor is unnecessary? Some people might need to paint the insides of their frame. That's why the Eastwood Company makes this product in the first place. I forgot what I was going to say about the paint. Oh, use a well-ventilated area. And apparently, PR15 gets everywhere, so I'm going to put some gloves on. When it starts spinning, you're going to want to get it your face out of the way. Well, if you plug the holes correctly, then it shouldn't be an issue, right? Just the entryway might get a little wet and slippery. Luckily, it's a nice cool day. Oh, gosh. Wouldn't mind a little bit more flow here, a little faster, but... Sometimes it takes time. you got to really commit. Yeah, I know. You can't rush it. If you put pressure on it... You know what? Since I'm faster. using all of this, I'm going to just jack open the... Okay. Bad boy. Just gonna cheat and use a tool. I'm a genius! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna work so good. I've never done this before. No one has. I don't know exactly how to do this, but I'm gonna just... Don't spin it while it's in there. Just gent... I'm gonna just slow. <laughs> Alright, hit. I'm gonna put it in the hole. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, ready? What'd you do? <laughs> that is why I don't wear gloves. Like a or just, or just wear real gloves. It's hard to tell, it's just dark in there. It doesn't look like a very smooth coat. Like it's mostly, oh. like it's mostly just rubbing off. Just get off. Because <laughs> you're simultaneously like putting it on and then rubbing it off with that thing. And dripping it down. I'm really excited that it's not disintegrating. Dude, that's coating. That's coating okay, honey. That's doing okay. I'm not sure. Can you move that little cup closer that's to the sink? This cup? Yeah. Oh. Slipped out. Wrong hole. So you're going to want to ramp up the speed to get a good coat. It's dripping from the ceiling, too. It's literally dripping from the windows to the wall, Sonny. I measured this, so it's half the frame length. Well, actually, it's a little over half the frame length. It's a little messier than I thought it would be. Good idea, but execution is pretty shitty. <laughs> Since I spilled a lot, I can, I can pick up some of it. Oh. Yeah, it's working. I leveled the frame back out. So if we look down here, or up here, we're getting a coat on the very top of the frame. And it's also leaking out from one of these holes right here. So that means it's, it, it seems to be getting a good coat. Let's check this big hole right here. Good. Let me get a light. Is it working? It's working. I need to spin it better. I just thought of a better idea. If you don't want to dip it in this and get it all over the place, you could just open up sections of the frame where the tape is and pour a little bit and pour a little bit down in there. Hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome, internet. So that's what it looks like. Doesn't look terrible. No. Honestly. And that's. So there's like a couple little side spots. Based on the preliminary evidence that we're seeing right now it works really good it coats the inside of the frame all maybe 90 percent of it 90 percent but if you think about it where's all the rust and stuff going to accumulate the bottom. the bottom and where's most of the pr pr 15 probably going to accumulate the bottom the bottom i think we're definitely taking care of a spot that's susceptible to rust and it was only like 14 bucks to make this tool uh, you could get a can of pr 15 and so far i still have a ton left so i'm going to do the other side I mean, you could probably get away with one can of PR15 and clean up How the much ins. Is one can. Yeah, I'm gonna tell me to you. Fifty bucks or something. Gone through like eight hundred dollars of PR15. This spot right here. That's gonna be a tricky. Spot. This I can't get the foam brush in there, so that is going to be on you. The only reason I bought one can of the Eastwood stuff is to get that spot specifically, but otherwise, I was putting all my eggs in that basket. 
It yeah, looks pretty so dang you're good. Looking at like hundred and ten dollars total. So pure fifteen is fifty-five bucks. Yeah. One the tools twelve bucks, so that's like seventy with some tax. Spray can is forty. The one spray can, so, so like hundred and ten bucks. That was pretty close the first time. Or you week. could just not paint the inside of your frame if you don't have to. Or that. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up. The PR 15's drying, so I gotta work while the working's good. Rachel's gonna help me tape up the rest before you shut down. <laughs> I can see your hand coming up on that. <laughs> Thank you for watching Project Wrong Way. Hopefully this helped a little bit for somebody who's doing frame prep. We're gonna get the inside frame rails painted, and then we'll do a quick segment of painting the outside, and then we'll start putting on some suspension. Nice. Please like, share, and subscribe.